All right, today I want to look at how to graph quadratic inequalities. Um, so basically, it's going to be really just practicing graphing regular quadratics um, and then adding in the aspect that sometimes your lines are going to be dotted, sometimes they're going to be solid, and sometimes they're going to have shading. Um, so if it's an inequality, you're actually going to always have shading. So uh, I'm pulling problems out of a, a textbook here just to pick some to do. So for example, in this one we have y is less than uh, x squared plus 2x minus 5. So what we want to do is we want to treat this like it's a normal quadratic and just start graphing it. Um, so give myself a little grid over here. So let's start out by finding, um, and actually I want to do this one a little differently. Um, so I want to, instead of trying to find the axis of symmetry and find the vertex, let's practice uh, completing the square, just because in this case it's probably the easier way to do the problem. Um, so we're going to give ourselves some room to complete the square. So to do that, you look at your middle term, which is the 2. You take half of that, and you square that number. So half of 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1. So I'm going to add 1 here, and to keep my equation balanced, I'm going to subtract 1 from the end. So this part here should now factor as x plus 1, quantity squared, and I have a negative 6 on the end. Okay, so I've got my equation now in vertex form, so I can go ahead and start graphing it. Um, so this is a shift to the left 1, and a shift down 6, so left 1 and down 6, that's my vertex. Okay, and then I have just a 1 in front here, so I'm going to go over 1 and up 1 squared, over 2 and up 2 squared, over 3 and up 3 squared, so on and so forth. Uh, since it's just a 1 here, I don't have to multiply my y values by anything. So over 1, up 1, over 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4, or over 3, and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9. Um, so I have some more points there on my graph. If I draw my axis of symmetry here at negative 1, then I can reflect and get some more points on the graph. Okay. Um, so notice now that we've got our outline kind of drawn in. We had a less than here. If there's no equal to part in your inequality sign, uh, so if it's just less than or greater than, that's going to mean that your line is dotted. If it was less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, then your line would be solid. So in this case, we just have less than, so we're going to draw in a dotted line here. So, and then the less than tells you where to shade. So if it's less than, we're going to shade below the vertex. If it's greater than, you're going to shade above the vertex. So in this case, less than, we're going to shade below, which in this case would be everywhere that's outside of your quadratic. How good your shade is really up to you. Um, I don't really care too much about it being perfect. I just want to get the idea down. So everywhere that's outside of this quadratic would be the shaded region, or it would be the solution set um, to the quadratic. So all of this mess out here. Okay. So basically, if I picked a point that was in this shaded region, that would be a solution to this um, inequality that we have up here. So for example, the point at 2 negative 6. 2 negative 6 is inside the shaded region here, so it should be a solution. So if I plug in 2, um, I'll do that up here, and I plug in 6 for y, we should get a true statement. So it's always nice just to go back and check your answer to make sure that it makes sense. So 6 is less than 8 minus 5. 
6 is less than 3. Oh, it's negative 6. That makes more sense. Um, and negative 6 is less than 3, so uh, we've got a true statement there. Okay? Uh, so again, really the only difference here between graphing a normal quadratic with an equal sign is that if you have no equal to, it's going to be a dotted line. If you have equal to, it's going to be solid and where you're shading at. Okay? Um, so rather than you know, trying to bore you to death with graphing things that you already know how to do, let's jump ahead a little bit and let's look at graphing a system of inequalities. Um, so in, this, in, my, in the textbook I'm in, this is number 66. And this is a really easy example. Um, so here we have a system of inequalities. We're going to graph these two things on the same um, Cartesian graph. Alright, sorry for the interruption. Uh, I always have someone that comes into my room while I'm making a video. So, um, Here again, we're going to try to graph both of these on the same um, coordinate plane. So, And then the solution set will be where the shading overlaps at. Where do both of the lines end up shaded? So to graph y is less than or equal to x squared, that's really easy. Um, you have your vertexes at the origin. Make myself some little notches here. Two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to go over 1 and up 1, over 2 and up 1, 2, 3, 4, because 2 squared is 4. Um, and we can reflect that to get some more points on the graph. Um, notice that it's less than or equal to. The equal to part tells you that you're doing a solid line. And the less than part tells you that you're shading below the vertex. So really lightly, I'm going to go ahead and start shading in the general direction. Um, and I want to do this lightly because once I graph my other line, I'm going to darken in the part where the shading overlaps at. Um, so you may not even be able to see that, but I can. So um, As long as you can tell where you're shaded at, then you're good. Right, so the other line, um, this has been shifted up 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it's opening downward. So we're going to go over 1 and down 1 in both directions or over 2 and down 4 in both directions. And again, it's equal to, so you're doing a solid line. And in this one, you're shading above the vertex. So again, you're shading on the outside. Okay, so then the part where it's darker at, I'm going to go back where they overlap and make it a little bit darker be points in this region. Uh, so something neat about um, checking your answer here, if you pick a point that's up here in this shaded region, well it's going to be a solution to the, the bottom equation, but it will not be a solution to the top one. Um, if you pick one down here where it's lightly shaded, it'll be a solution to the top but not the bottom. Only points that are over here where it's shaded in both sections are going to be points to both solutions, or uh, solutions to both equations. So. Um, this will kind of neat there. <clears throat> um, let's do one more of those, uh, just so I can show you another example. 67 here. Um, we have y is greater than or equal to x squared minus 3, and y is less than or equal to negative x squared minus 2x plus 9. Um, so again, we're going to graph both of these on the same grid, on the same Cartesian plane. Um, so this one, the top one's really easy. You're just going down 3 and then graphing y equals x squared. So over 1, up 1, over 2, and up 4. And then it's solid because it's equal to. And you're shading above the vertex, which in this case would be on the inside. Again, make your first shading kind of light so that you can go back and darken it in later if you need to. Now the other graph is not in a nice form at the moment, so um, again, you might want to complete the square here. Um, so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide everything in my equation by a negative 1. So I'll get x squared 
plus 2x minus 9. And when I divide by negative 1, I have to do the same thing to both sides. So over here, I'm going to get negative 7 is greater than or equal to. Okay, then I'm going to complete the square. So here, I would get plus 1 and minus 1. Take half of b and you square it. You add that number and you take it away. So this part here will now factor as x plus 1 squared. Negative 9 and negative 1 is negative 10. Then I'm going to go back and divide everything by negative 1 again. So my signs return to normal. And this is my equation now. So my graph is going up. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and to the left, 1, and then it's going to open downward, so I'm going to go over 1 and down 1, or over 2 and down 1, 2, 3, 4, or over 3 and down 9, And it's again a solid line. So I want to continue this one a little bit and finish the shading that would have been there. Okay, so on my, my upside down graph here, it's less than or equal to, so again, I'm shading below the vertex. And my shading is going to overlap inside here. So this section here would be my solution set. Okay? Um, so there's a couple examples of graphing quadratic inequalities. Um, all of these quadratics had two variables to them. In other words, they have an x and they have a y. Um, so we had an x and a y, x and a y, x and a y, x and a y. They all have two variables. Um, there's also such a thing as a one variable inequality, um, which I'll make another example of here in uh, another video of here in just a little bit and post it as well. Um, and they're solved a little bit differently. Um, so I'll show you um, how we do it here at my school. Um, we take a little bit of a different approach. So, um, yeah. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to help you out. Otherwise, good luck.